Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> I hope you have had a, a good night's sleep. And um, my name is Monica Christ. It's Thursday morning, and today we are practicing an Ashtanga Vinyasa. I want to say it's um, don't get intimidated. It was sort of two, three, four level. We we'll squeeze it all in there. Um, and we're going to be working on our hips. Um, as always, that everything that I say and do is uh, obviously optional. It's suggestions to where you can do. Um, you listen to your breath, as always, um, to to see where you're at, where you're at, where you need. Um, I had a bit of a rough day yesterday, um, and I always feel that when I when I have those days, the practice becomes even more intensified uh, for me to be able to find that the inner peace, the calmness, to be able to, you know, to dig myself out of, you know, those the fluctuation of the, the emotions that might be, you know, coming up. So uh, I went to bed last night and I really looked forward to this practice. So let's come to a seat, however that might look like for you. To sit up tall, letting your shoulders just rest above your hips. You can be in the rasana on a block. Sukhasana is a pose. And just take a moment and listen inward, see what's happening this morning. And then draw a breath in through the nose. Open mouth, let it go. And then for a moment, you can open up your eyes. So we're going to take an Adi Shodana, uh, Pranayama. So you're going to bend your index finger and your middle finger. You're going to take a breath in through the nose, completely filling up. Close off your right nostril and exhale out to the left. Breathe in left. Close it off with your ring finger and middle finger. Exhale out to the right. Breathe in right. Close it off. Exhale left. Breathe in left. Exhale right. Keep going on your own. Completely filling up every inhale, completely exhaling every exhale. One more round and then completely exhaling out through the right. Okay. 
hands just back onto the knees. Feeling the calmness present. Then transition to the Ujjayi Pranayama, sealing the lips, breathing in and out the nose. Track the breath back of the throat. You can rest your tongue at the soft palate just behind the two protein. Jai soft. You're finding that light contraction at the back of the throat. Deep, slow breaths. Engage your pelvic floor for your Malavanda. Draw the navel in towards your spine, your Udayana Banda. Try to maintain the breath and the bandhas at the very end when you're coming into Shavasana. And make your eyes open. I think you can stop the gaze. And then come into Dandasana. So just extend your feet out in front of you for a moment. See how it feels. Toes pointing forward. Come to the front side of the sit bone. Keep feeling this lift through the bandhas. Shoulder blades slides down the back. The gaze stays to the tip of the nose. And then plant your hands just by your hips. And then it's press into the palms, lifting the chest. And then draw the right knee into the chest. Plant your foot. And then just twist over to this Murchiasana C variation. Sit up tall and then exhale, twist, look over the shoulder, belly in, breathe free. It's going to have to be deep. Two. And one. Inhale, come back through center. Extend your foot out and then just bring your left knee in. Hug and bring the knee to the chest, left arm behind. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist. One. Exhale, two. Try to move the left shoulder away from here. Exhale, three. And then look forward and then bend both knees. Keep your feet hip width apart. Take the hands behind you. Bring your tips towards the shoulders. And then inhale, lift up for reverse tabletop. Get your hips in line. With your knees, roll your shoulders open. You can stay here or lean your head back if it feels okay. Make sure you're pressing into the knuckle of your index finger, the palm, the fingertips. Expand the breath over the heart. One. Two. And three. Exhale, take your hips down. Extend your feet up again, then fold forward, Pashmalanasana. This one again have to be the deepest. Belly in again, relax the shoulder blades down the back. So you're trying to keep the sides of your torso nice and long. Releasing into the low back. And then inhale, come back up, and then cross your ankles. Roll over onto your hands and knees, make your way into downward facing dog. Spread your fingers wide, roll your armpits and heels re reaching back, lift your kneecaps, look between your legs. Explore into the Udayana Bandha, that hollowing out of the belly as the heart is reaching towards the toes. 
relaxing the neck and shoulder. The thighs are engaged. One more. And then lift your heels and slowly walk your feet forward, coming all the way to the top. Look between your legs, hands to the elbows, and sway. Release your hands to the mat, bend into the knees and slowly roll up. Coming in to Samar Stiti. Toes are pointing forward. Hips are neutral. Palms facing forward, the gaze at the tip of the nose. Suraya so Namaskara A. Inhale, reach your arms up and over, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet into high plank, heels are reaching back, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, lower down, halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, press the mat away from you, come to the tops of the feet, firm up your quads, roll your heart through the gate of the arms. Exhale, lift your hips, downward facing dog, we take five breaths. Exhale, full one. You find the foundation in Adho Mukha Svanasana, exhale for two. You pay attention. Exhale for three. Exhale for four. Exhale for five. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands by your side, Samastiti. Inhale, arm reaches up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, for one. Exhale, for two. Exhale, for three. Exhale, for four. Exhale, for five. Inhale, lift the heels, bend your knees, step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arm comes up. Exhale, hands by your side. Samastiti. One last traditional Surai Namaskara A, and then we're going to funk them up a little bit. Inhale, arm reaches up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arm up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, for one. Exhale, for two. Exhale, for three. Exhale, for four. Exhale for five. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. Exhale, hands by your side. Samastiti. So listen up. Inhale, reach your arms up and over. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant your right hand, bend your right knee. Inhale, left arm, reach up. Press into the right hand, opening up the chest. Pressing into the ball of the left foot. Belly in, we breathe. Three. Moving into the IT band. Two. Long that hamstring and calf. And three. Take the hands down and then switch. 
Bend your left knee, inhale, right arm. Feeling into the hip, opening the chest for three. Two. And one, lower the hand down to the mat, inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, plant your hands, shut around. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. We would exhale for one. Exhale for two. Exhale for three. Exhale for four. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arm comes up. Exhale, hands by your side. One last funky sane. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands and step your right foot over your left. So you're bending into the left knee and then walk your hands over towards the right. Exhale, drop the crown of the head towards the bruise. You're now breathing deeper into the outer part of the hip, your low back. For three, strong breath. Breathe into the sensation. Two. And one. Inhale, lift up, walk your hands back to center. Across your right foot and then step your left over your right. Walk your hands over to the left. Exhale, fold. For three. Two. And one. Walk your hands back. Uncross your feet. Lift them like them. Exhale, plant your hands. Shut them under. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Exhale for one. Keep settling in. Exhale for two. Exhale for three. Exhale for four. Exhale for five. Inhale, lift the heels, bend your knees, float your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. Exhale, hands by your side. Samastiti. So, right namaskar A. We're just going to take four straighter. The only difference is going to be that down on your forearms for your down dog B. Otherwise, they're very traditional. Listen in again. Move with the breath. Exhale, bend the knees, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Left heel down, right foot forward. Inhale, Virabha. Exhale, hand comes down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing, right heel down, left foot forward. Inhale, takes you up, stay deep into the front knee. Exhale, chaturanga. <clears throat> Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. You can come down to the forearms as taking the knees down. <clears throat> Excuse me, you just drop your forearms down. Spread your fingers, heels reaching back, thighs are engaged, belly in. And move the heart to the toes for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. 
Make your way back into downward facing dog, either taking the knees down or just pressing into the hands. <clears throat> Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees. Step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. Samastiti. Bend the knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Varapidrasana, one. Right foot forward. Exhale, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right heel down, left foot forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hand comes down. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. <clears throat> Exhale, downward facing. Come to your forearms. Pull one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, come up onto your knee, hands, and then lift your heels, bend your knees, step your feet forward. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, inhale, Utkatasana. Come to standing. Samasthiti. Bend the knees, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Right foot forward, inhale, Viragon. Exhale, Chaturanga. Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Right heel down, left foot forward, inhale, come up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Down to the forearms. Four. Three. And one, come back up onto your hands. Lift the heels, bend your knees, step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, inhale, Utkatasana. Come to standing. Samastiti. One last time. Bend the knees, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Warrior one. Exhale, hand comes down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Grab the dress, lucky. Exhale, hand comes down, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, come down to the forearms. Last time. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, come back up onto your hands. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, fold your feet forward. 
Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, inhale, Utkatasana. Stay here. Take the hands to your heart and hook your left elbow outside your right knee. Right? Draw your left knee back in space. Come into Pravita Trikonasana. Inhale, lengthening, exhale, fold. Or not twist, I mean. We breathe five. Belly in. Sit deeper down, four. Three. Two. And one, look down. Inhale, come back into Utkatasana. Exhale, hands to your heart. Right elbow outside your left knee. Draw your right knee back, hands to heart. And then inhale, lengthen. Exhale, you twist. For five. Four. Three. Two. And one, look down. Inhale, reach your arms up. Come to standing. Samastiti. Take your feet hip width apart. <clears throat> so option here is that you can take Parangustasana. His fingers around the big toes. If you, especially if you know that your hamstrings are maybe a little bit on the tighter end. Yeah, so neutralize your hips. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. And inhale, lift your chest, elbows back. Exhale, hinge at your hips and fold. So here you go, please swing this around your big toe or take your right arm and hold on to the left shin. The arm comes around and then your left. All right, so you're holding on to the shins. <coughs> now inhale, lift and lengthen. And then if you can, rock right into the balls of the feet, straighten your knees and then hug yourself in. And we breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let go where you're holding on to. Inhale, lift the lengthen. Exhale, hands onto your hips. Inhale, rise on the back. <clears throat> Let's take your left foot back. Heel to arch alignment. Right, a little bit wider, arm comes out, so we'll take the lesson. Inhale, reach forward, exhale, hinge at your head. Take your hand down to where you find support. It can be anything, your shin, thigh, which your block maybe. But find that alignment so the torso lines up over the front leg. So the hip snuggles underneath, your side body's along, and then reach your left hand up and over. And you find the foundation in your triangle pose. Here comes the breath. Five. See if you can slide the left shoulder blades down the back. Three. Two. And one. Exhale, look down. Take your left hand to the hip and then bend into the right knee. Move to Ardha Chandrasana. So move the right hand in front of you and then come forward, picking. Left foot off the mat. Make sure the right toe points forward. And now try to come into the same shape you were just in. So stacking the hips on top, turn your toe up slightly. Again, belly in, you're lengthening forward. You're floating that top hand up and over. Maybe the gaze will follow. Five, nice and slow. Maybe you can be light onto the fingertips. Bend into the right knee, left foot steps back. Heel torch alignment, open up your arms. Here we go. Nerva Drasana B. So sit down deep and see if you can drop that left hip and then if you pull your heels together, so you're feeling the ground sort of lifting through you, the energy through the bandhas. Relax your shoulders down, arms out, steady gaze. We breathe. Five. Four. Three, two, and 
and one. Take your hand down. Take it to the inside if you can. You can use the block here. Again, you keep pulling your heels together. So you're having the lift into the right thigh. Yet the hip snuggles underneath you. Left arm reaches up. So you have this long energetic line. And then you spin the chest open. You have an external rotation in your upper arm. And you draw length to the left side. And breathe five. Four. Three, two, and one. Take your hands down, come up onto the ball of your back foot. And for a moment, take your knee down. You can keep your hands to the inside and shift back for a moment to half split. Right? So it's like a half split, but you have down dog arms. Right? And then you pull yourself back, pull your right hip back, and breathe five. Four, three, two, and one. Come forward. So here it comes. So now from here, you can step it back and keep it at two. Or you want to come to the three and the four part of this class. You're going to tuck the left to under. So it's two arm balancing. Ekapada Kundinyasana. And then you're going to transition to. Um, Ashto, um, I had to think there for a second. I'm going to turn this way just because I need this space on my leg, all right? So you're talking the right to under. So you're coming into this missed variation. Right arm comes underneath, and you plant your hands outside. So you can try and stay here too and see how it feels. I like to come up onto my toe. So I, I'm supporting my thigh to my tricep. I extend my arm forward. I bend my elbows. And I reach forward, lift my foot, and I breathe. And then from here, I lift up. I take my left leg underneath, take it on top, and here I am in Ashtabha Krasana. And then I go back to Ekapara Kuninyasana, and I jump back. Sure. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Will you do none of that? You've just been hanging out and down dog. Breathe. Noticing if the breath started to change. And inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees. <clears throat> Step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bring your arms up and over. Exhale, hands by your side, Samastiti. <clears throat> Maybe I should be on this side, actually. Okay, so we're just going to take that aside. So step your right foot back. All right, heel torch alignment again. Open up your arms. Setting up for Uttita Trikonasana. Inhale, reach. And then exhale, take your hand down to where you find your support. <clears throat> and open up the chest. Find the foundation. And when you have it, now we breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Exhale, look down. Right hand to the hip. Bend your left knee. Take your left hand in front of your left foot. Make sure the toe points forward. And then inhale, float right foot up. And then open up the hips. You're stacking hip on hip. So the toe is slightly turned up to the sky. Your right toe leg is engaged. Maybe you take the hand up. And we breathe. And then step your right foot back, heel to arch alignment, <clears throat> right hip down, and then make sure that the knee is tracing over that front toe, knees over the ankle. And then again, you pull your heels together, arms are strong. Go five. Four. 
Ui. Two. And one, take your hands down to the inside. <clears throat> and again, you're finding the lift, you pull your heels together, but your back arch is slightly lifted, and then the arm reaches forward. Spin your chest open and breathe and reach. Five. Four. Three, two, and one hand comes down, come up onto the right toe, take the knee down, keep your hands to the inside, <clears throat> shift back for half split, the down dog arms, and wait five, four, Three, two, and one. Inhale, come forward again. Now you can tuck your toe and you can stay there. I'm going to turn around again. <clears throat> so we've got him in, coming into the arm balance. Ika Parakuninyasana and Ashtavakrasana. Right, so lift your heel. So you may stay here, just opening up into the hip, or you take your left hand outside the left foot. Elbows are bent, you spread your fingers wide, come up onto the toe, bend your elbows, reach your foot forward, lean forward. And then thread your legs through, Ashtabha Krasana. Come back, Ekapada, jump back. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bring your arms up and over. Exhale, hands by your side. You might want to use a strap for this one. We're just going to take, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, well, I, I have to breathe for a second. We're going to take um, Utita Hasta Pandangustasana. Find the grounding, come back to the breath. Make it smooth. You're going to balance on your right foot, bring your left knee into the chest. These fingers around your big toe, and then extend your foot out. Try to drop the hip. Just taking the A variation, steady gaze for five, four, three, two, And one, bend back into the left knee and bend your right knee, cross it over, Garandrasana. <clears throat> so you can wrap that right, oh, sorry, your left shin around, try to neutralize your hips, squeeze your legs in, open up your arms, and then exhale, right arm on top. Garandrasana. And then squeeze and lift the hands away from the face. Face can fall over. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Stay with your arms, but bring your left knee into the chest. And exhale, come into warrior three. So shoot that right foot, left foot back. Hips are square. Keep reaching your hands forward. And breathe. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Bend into the right knee, step your left foot back, open up your arms. Turn your right toe in, exhale, hands to the hips. Prasarita A, lift your chest, exhale, fold. Take your hands underneath your heart. Inhale, lift and lengthen, exhale, fold. Belly in, press into the other parts 
of the feet, shifting weight into the balls of the feet. So you have this line, outer part of your hips is engaged. Look between your legs and breathe wide. Four. Three. Two. And one, take your hands underneath the shoulders, lift them lengthen. Exhale, walk your hands to frame your right foot. Get your left foot in, please, to heel alignment. <clears throat> Horse foot anasana. Square your hips, belly in, and then fold. You can use the blocks by the sides if you need them. You breathe five. Pull that right hip back, grounding into the right foot. Two more breaths. Last one. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Take your left hand inside, outside, or onto the shins of ankle. Inhale, reach forward, exhale, start twisting. Parita Trikonasana. And again, you try to widen the wingspan as much as you can. So inhale. Lengthening, exhale, twist, one. Two. Three. Four. And five, take your hands down, praying your foot, and then step your left foot next to your right, and pull, pull the breath. Mm. You can bend your knees, release. Mm. Nod your head, yes. Check it out now. Holding any tension into the neck and shoulders. Inhale, start rolling up. And back into Samastiti. This time, you're going to shift the weight into your right foot, left foot. Bringing the right foot in for Tita Hasta Panagustasana. So again, you can use the strap here. Put these fingers around your big toe. Extend your foot out. Drop the right hip, belly in. Chest is lifted. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, and then bend your knee, cross it over, coming into Garandasana, eagle, legs. So wrap it around, squeeze it in, neutralize your hip, open up your arms, and your left arm comes on top, and you lift for five. Squeeze it in, four. Three. Two. And one, release your legs, so right knee to the chest, and then exhale, shoot your foot back. Keep your hips as squared as you can, arm stays the same, and keep lengthening. You have a center point into the toe. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then step it back, and then release your arms. Turning left toe in, setting again up for Prasavita. Open up your arms, exhale, interlace your hands. Inhale, roll the chest, draw the hands past the table, exhale, fold. Hand comes up and over the shoulders, keep pressing into the other parts of the feet and breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, takes you all the way up and then turn to the left. All right, square your hips out again. So setting up for Parsvot Anasana. <clears throat> and in, lift your chest. Exhale, fold over the front leg and breathe here again. Five. Four. Mm. 
three. Two. And one. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Parvita Trikonasana. Take your hands inside, outside. Left hand to the head. Inhale, lengthening forward, pressing to the right hand and twist the chest. Right, and you find the foundation into the pose, and now we breathe. Two more. Exhale, take your hands out, let your right foot next to your left and forward. Hmm. And then inhale, come all the way up. So options here. Your first option, you're going to shift your weight into the uh, left foot and you're going to take your shin and then take a seat. And you're coming into figure four. That's your first option. If you're practicing Ardha Bada Pashamodanasana, you're going to take your foot into your left hip crease. So you're coming into half lotus. Take your hand around and hold on to the toe. Hold up the feet and then the, the right way. Ardha Bada Padmanasana. So wrap it around for figure four. Bring your hand up. And then exhale, you start reaching forward nice and slow. Take your hand down. You can use the block here and fold. Now we breathe five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Take your hands down and then lower your left knee down. All right. So you will be here, all right, keeping your foot in your hip crease or your foot will be in front. So it's like a figure four, right? And then you're going to stand up, square your hips up. Just neutralize your hips, so push your hips forward, right? Belly in, or you keep your foot there in half lotus. Let's see if I can get my back. And take your hands down. So from here, you're going to tuck the left toe, lift the knee. So you're either going to kick up and practice your handstand so you can use your wall, or you're going to stay in half lotus, kicking up into handstand from there. So again, you've got two options. See if you can hold it for five breaths, and then vinyasa out of it. Upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. And then walk your feet forward and back into Uttanasana. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bring your arms up and over. Exhale, hands by your side, Samastiti. So again, now we're balancing on our right foot. So, figure four, great place to be. Or you're going to take right foot, into, oh sorry, left foot into your right hip crease for Ardhavala Padma Anasana. Take your left hand around, hold on to the big toe, and bring the knee down. Inhale, right arm, and then either sit down in figure four or fold. Five. 
four, three, two, and one. Inhale, lift and lengthen, hand comes down, and then lower right knee down. So remember, if you in, in figure four, just bring your shin down in front of your foot or your right knee, or you stay in lotus. Right, and then try to rise up. Be careful with your knees to get your hips neutral. And then take your hands down, tuck the toe, and then come back. So again, you can practice your kick-ups. For handstand, you can use your wall. You can hold it for five breaths, or you stay in half lotus, trying to come up. Take a vinyasa. And then take your knees down. Come into your child's pose for a moment. Your head down. Close your eyes. Listen to the breath. Check in. See where you're at. And then inhale, come up to all fours. So you might want to use have a block or a blanket for this one. Put your right foot between your hands, and then you can shift back here to half split again for Ardha Hanuman. Right, or you're gonna you can use the block. You still have a funky hamstring, so you slide forward and you're coming into the full Hanuman. Mm -hmm. Four points forward, and then. Left hip, foot comes straight out of the hip. So here you are. You take five breaths. So when you have the block, you support it. You can bring your hands up. It's perfect to use a pillow as well. And then slide your foot back. We'll come back into all fours. We're just going to take the other side. The shift back, starting in half split. Maybe you slide it forward. Maybe you use something under the left hip. Make sure that the right kneecap is to the ground. And try to roll the right hip down, left hip back, so the hips are straight. <clears throat> And then again, if you brought your hands up, if it feels okay and you support it. Take your hands down. Just stay here and enjoy. And then slide your foot back and make your way into downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. 
inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog you're going to inhale you're going to jump through and you're going to take left foot outside your right hip and your left leg comes out in front of you take the calf muscle and move it out of the way make sure the knee comes forward and you have this internal rotation into the inner thigh and again you can sit up on something <clears throat> so this first one is Shranka Mukhapada Pashimodanasana you fold forward try to keep the sit bones down we breathe five four three Two. And one. Inhale, come all the way up. And now from here, you're going to take the hands behind you and you're going to snuggle. You're actually going to almost take a seat onto the shin. So just like we did in the beginning, you're going to take your hands, point them towards your hips. Point your right toe and firm up your legs. You're going to inhale and lift up. And you're going to make your way in Purvodanasana, one leg out. So just lift up, roll your shoulders open, and lean your head back for five, four, keep pressing into the top, or onto the right foot, and then exhale, and lower down, good, and then roll forward, come back into high plank, lower down, chaturanga, Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. This time when you jump through, right foot outside your right hip, left foot comes forward. Take your right calf muscle, move it out of the way, and then <clears throat> make sure the foot snuggles close to the hip. Again, you can sit up onto the block. You have that internal rotation into the thighs. Both sit bones are right, grounded, belly in, exhale, fold. Ranga Mukha Pada Pashi Modanasana. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, come all the way up. And then see if you can sit up onto the the calf again. Take your hands behind your fingertips, pointing towards your toes. Point your left toe. Inhale, lift up, roll your shoulders open. Lean your head back. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Take your hips down. Bend your left knee. Step back, high plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to the chest. Chest, take your shin. Thigh, sit bone comes down. And so here we are. Make sure that the foot comes out of the hip. And you can move your shin, if you like, closer to the front of the mat. Take a Padarasha, Kapatasana prep. You can again use something under the right hip. Follow in, exhale, you fold. Soften, relax your neck and shoulders. You can lie down onto a pillow if you like. Two more breaths. Good. 
And then inhale, come up onto your forearms, onto your hands. And then roll onto the right hip. You're going to take your left shin at the bottom, so it's parallel to the front of the mat. Your right foot comes on top, so you're stacking uh, the, the ankle on top of your left knee. And energetically, so you flex your feet, right? You have this external rotation of the thigh, and you're going to energetically move the right knee towards your left foot. You come to the front side of the sit bones, you have this sensation into your hips. So if you lift it, that's fine. Right? You may stay here or extend. You start folding over the leg and you press out to the ball of the big toe. Side body is long. And then drop the head for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And then walk your hands back up again. And then just roll over onto your hands and knees. And here we go. Ekapara Rasha Kapotasana on the other side. So inhale, left leg lifts. And then knee to the chest. Take your shin thigh. Sit bone comes down. <clears throat> and check in with alignment. Maybe you need to prop yourself up. And let's say you start folding. And breathe. Listen to the breath. Same time, you soften, you ease it into the acid. Noticing if the mind is Taking off, if you can bring it back. Two more. And then come up onto your forearms, to your hands, roll on to the left hip, and then bring your right leg out. So this time, the right foot or shin is at the bottom, and then your left comes on top. You sit up tall, you press into the balls of your feet, and exhale, you walk your hands forward. And five. Four. Three. Two. And move on, and then walk your hands back up again. So grab your strap, so just have it available if you need it. So we're going to come into Ekapala Shishasana A. So extend your right leg out, and then pick up your um, left foot, and take your foot into the elbow crease. Take your right hand, and see if you can externally rotate the thigh, and then you just cradle your leg, so flex your foot. Bring the shin to the chest, and you can stay here and roll onto the hip. It feels a little bit tight. And then sit up and take your foot into your hands and have your um, shin in your armpit and then pull it back. Really pull it back, almost like you're bringing the foot in towards the air. <clears throat> take your right hand to the inside and hold on to the ankle and then try to get it up onto the shoulder. So here we go. So you can stay here or maybe you can bring your foot behind the head. And here we are. Ika Pada Shishasana, eh? 
and take five breaths. And then we'll release it, let it go. But keep your foot right here. So if you're here, so this is where you're going to have the options. So you can put it, take a strap. We're going to do compass pose. So you're going to hold on to the strap, however long it will be. Or you're going to hold on to the other part of the foot. And then from here, you're going to extend your foot as much as you can. Be careful with your hamstring. Lean into the right hand and twist it through. What do you call it? Chest open. So you're twisting open. Or here it comes. So you're going to bend your right knee. Right, so we're going to take a parcel of anatta. You're going to extend your right leg and you're going to lift up. So here we are. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then exhale the one down. And then the other side. So again, we start extending the right foot. Take your left foot into the crease you created your leg. Lift the chest. And again, there is all those options. You know when to stop, where you need to be. You can roll onto the hip. Just massaging the glute. And then come up, take your shin in your armpit and hold on to the foot. And then from here, you're just moving the knee back and forth, getting a little bit of movement to the hip. Right? Take your left hand to the inside, hold on to the ankle, and then try to get your foot enough on the tricep and you can chill here. And you bring it up. Maybe you're taking the foot behind your head. And breathe. And then let it go. So again, so compass pose. Grab your strap. You hold it to the inside, outside. And then you try to extend. And then lift the chest. So you can be here, take your five breaths. I don't even know reverse table with like leg reach, right? So come into the reverse table arms. You're bending your right knee, you're pressing, you lift your hips as you're extending the knee, reaching your foot back. Bring your head back, five, four, three, two, and one, and then lower now. Whew. All right, so let it go. Bring the soles of the feet together. Knees are out wide. Sit up tall, exhale, hold. Nara Konasan. And then inhale, come all the way up, bring the knees together and lie down onto your back. I'm actually going to take a supported bridge pose today. So you can either come into Setta Bandha Saragasana, arms up alongside you, lift up, and then shimmy your shoulder underneath you. You can take a block, which I will do. Or if you want to practice full back bends, just got a crack in my low back. I'm just going to stay here, I'm going to extend my feet out. Wide. And breathe. Mm. If you're on the block, Walk the feet back in. 
if you're taking your Urvadana Rasana, finish it off. And then bring your knees into the chest. You make circles. And then extend your right leg out. Take your left hand on, oh sorry, right hand to your left knee, left arm out, exhale over to the right. And to ground your right shoulder, you can shift your gaze. And then inhale, come back to center. Right knee to the chest, left hand to the knee, extend your left leg, extend to the left. And bring your knees into the chest, bring your knees in, give yourself a squeeze. And then extend your feet out long. Bring the arms up alongside of the body. Take a breath in. Open the mouth. What else? And start deepening your breath. Bring your fingers and toes. Stretch out long. Bring the knees to the chest. And then come up into a seat. Find a good seat. Close your eyes. Listen to the breath. We are breathing together this one last time. Feeling a little bit calmer and clearer. Put your hands to your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful day and I hope to see you again next time. Take care.